I've traveled into the hill district of Sri Lanka to understand how tea is made. I can't wait to discover what it takes to turn these beautiful green leaves into such a complex and delicious drink. Hi, Dylan. Hey, Titi. Welcome to Dunkeld. Thank you for having me, and I'm really looking forward to have you show me how to make tea. Before we go to the factory, let me take you to the fields. That's where it all happens. Let's go. So this Titi is really the heart of tea. Yeah. Because what nature does in the leaf, that is what you taste. And I understand it's all the same plant, no matter green tea or black. Mm -hmm. All tea, real tea is made from Camellia sinensis. Quite simply, green tea is unfermented, oolong, gentle fermentation, black tea is fully fermented. And tell me about these wonderful ladies that work around us. Well, you know, they are the artisans of our industry. For the last 150 years, they've been hand-picking the tea. And why that is so important is because you can see our terrain. Our terrain is spectacular for tea. Mm. And yeah. so the quality of tea begins and to a large extent ends with the quality of the leaf. It's yeah. everything that nature has done. And here quality is really assured because it's hand-picked and with this landscape it wouldn't be possible to, to use machines. You cannot have a mechanical process that also preserves quality because you need the eye and you need the human hand. Well, let me take you back to the factory and let me show you what happens to the leaf before it reaches your cup of tea. So Titi, this is where we wither the leaf to be able to bring the moisture level down to about 42%. And that concentrates the flavors and prepares it for the next step, which is rolling. So what they try to do is break the plant cells uh -huh. and to get the sap to intermingle so that you begin to produce aroma and flavor and all of these things. And what's the next step after rolling? We prepare the leaves for fermentation where the juices interact and it is the point at which green tea becomes oolong or black tea. And all of this is done by craftsmen, it's not machines that are doing no, this. No, maximum machine you're going to see is a thermometer. Then we put the tea for firing. You bring the moisture level down to 2% and then it becomes the tea that you would be familiar with. And then the final step is sifting. We separate the different grades according to size. And this here, it's a broken orange pico. It's amazing to see the fresh tea leaves evolve so quickly into perfectly prepared black tea. And all without adding a thing. The process hasn't changed for hundreds of years and I can see why it's perfect just the way it is.